Welcome back. Singapore headquartered tire production company Omni United says it hopes to be a half billion dollar firm in the next two years. Omni United, which dubbed itself the IKEA of tires, says its success in international markets hinges heavily on price competition and effective marketing. Well, let's find out more on this week's corporate briefcase. And my guest tonight is G.S. Serene, President and CEO of Omni United. Um, your company is headquartered here in Singapore, but most of their business uh, comes from the U.S. You have about 65% of your business over there. Um, are you making inroads in emerging markets and the rest of Asia? The tire business is estimated at $200 billion worldwide. And almost 55% of that comes from the uh, United States. So given those... Uh, statistics it's obvious for anybody to pluck the lowest hanging fruits first oh. and and that's why the US market because uh, it's it's much more accessible for the products that we are uh, currently dealing in now to get on to the Asian side surely we are um, this year hopefully we will take our share up from 5% to about 12% uh, specifically from countries like Malaysia Thailand Vietnam. But what are some of the challenges in trying to break into markets like Malaysia? Asia being close to the inexpensive manufacturing sources like China and Asia in general, it's difficult to break into that segment. So, uh, but for places which are a little further off, North America, South America, for example, you can add value by supply chain, by product quality, by various other uh, um, tools to, to plug that gap. Mm. Um, you've said previously that the company is holding back on growth uh, to ensure that uh, your growth trajectory is sustainable. Is that still the case because you've mentioned that you want to grow from 5% to 12% growth? No, it's changed now. This was, uh, again, from 2010 to 2011, we grew at about, I think, 40%. 2011 to 12 was a modest 15 or 18%. Uh, that's when I pulled, put the brakes on because the company had grown so fast to a $200 billion sales turnover over the last few years. It's important to have the bandwidth of management, the processes, etc., mm -hmm. to settle down and to dig in uh, for, the, for the long term. Mm -hmm. Now that those things are settled, now we are taking the leap forward again and we hope to uh, record a growth of, I think, it's about 60% next year. And then the year after, which will take us to uh, in the zip code of half a billion US dollars. Right. But how do you compete against the bigger players with more brand recognition? Uh, you don't compete. We don't compete with anybody. In, in the hierarchy of, of things, we have created a niche for ourselves, which we call a tweener category, which is not competing with anybody. Most of the major manufacturers are our customers. So we don't want to compete with them. We want to partner with them because we have a solution uh, in an area where they can't compete. So we, Michelin, for example, which is one of the world's largest manufacturer, is one of our biggest customers because we can genuinely add value to their customers by providing them a product uh, where th which they can use to um, as a hook to get a customer in the lower tier where, where they can't be competitive. And I've been speaking with G.S. Serene, President and CEO of Omni United.